Four-wheel drive brought Iceland into the 20th century. It replaced the horse and enabled people to travel more easily. And with the boom in travel came the need for a transport ministry. Naturally, they needed someone to run it. So who did they get? This man, the president of the drag racing club. What sort of roads do we have? I mean, there's road one, yes? Yeah. Where does that go? Around the country. And what about road two? There's none. No road two? No road two. Unnumbered tracks don't get tarmacked or named until the demand is there. But their idea of demand is rather different to ours. Heavy traffic is uh, depending on where you are, but on the countryside we would, uh, we would measure it by perhaps 100 cars per day. <laughs> 100 yeah. cars a day? There can't be too many transport ministers or even assistant transport ministers in the world who've come and be interviewed in a blue lagoon. Do you think so? No, I don't think, I don't think we get our transport minister out it's, like It's that. quite natural for us, yeah. But is, is that a sign of it being rather an informal country? Maybe it is, because uh, here almost everybody knows everybody. And uh, being a minister or working in a ministry doesn't uh, mean that you stop knowing people. So I could, if I was in Iceland, I could ring you up? Yeah. and complain about a traffic jam or a road being bad or something like that? Yeah, people do quite a lot of it. <laughs> 